no matter what they called it, this was not a mini budget. It's drastic, it's big. I think it's an economic gamble, but it's also a political gamble. Um, again, continuing this almost unapologetic tone, which I think has defined Liz Truss's premiership so far. She's been defending uh, you know, messages such, so, such as the cap, lifting the cap on bankers' bonuses. Uh, she did that previously. She said she was willing to be unpopular, if that's what it takes to grow the economy. Now, I think things like scrapping uh, you know, the 45p rate for top earners, now, that is something which I think lots of former Tory chancellors have shied away from because they thought it was politically too toxic, potentially. They've decided to just go for it. And I think now there's a question as to, A, how the markets are reacting, and there's clearly some nerves and doubt in what we're seeing, but also just in terms of how this lands politically and whether MPs, you know, get behind this trust and quasi So it's politically ideological, but how do you unpick what is... Uh, what they're talking about being measures to stimulate, basically grow the pie, stimulate economic growth, expand business and investment versus the sort of political measures, for instance, the 45p tax rate. Yes, yeah, so I think there's a few things going on there. We know that Liz Truss is, is a low tax Tory. Um, I think that if you look through everything she said in the past, she believes people should keep more of their own money, and that's clearly running through this. The fact you have think tanks like the Institute for Economic Affairs being positive about it. But ultimately, I think the the route which number 10 see as to potentially winning the next election is by growing the economy. And today's gamble only really works if you manage to do that. And then you would have, uh, you know, then they would make the argument that yes, we're not, uh, you know, some are having lower tax at the higher end of the spectrum, but the whole country is more prosperous. In terms of the measures to do that, we didn't get all the details today. Um, we have some things in terms of investment zones. There's obviously, um, you know, looking at some of the measures around the side to make uh, the city more competitive. Um, but as a package, I think there's still some doubt as to how exactly they're going to do this. Thank you very much, Katie Balls.